Okay. Hi, welcome to Cyclotech. Um, I will guide you a little bit through our um, um, booth. So what the company is about is the rotor that you see here. That's the complete difference to um, a classical conventional um, aviation propulsion system as we can direct the, the thrust vector 360 degrees through the rotor. So downwards, upwards, rearwards, frontwards, wherever you like. So if you have a, an aircraft, for example, like this, you can take off vertically and then you can fly around in a plane without the necessity to tilt the aircraft. You can do so, but you can also stand in the air like this. You can land on uneven surfaces. You can fly in whatever direction, in whatever flight um, 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 attitude. And this gives you a flexibility and an agility no other system um, um, currently in the world um, can provide. So the current state, what we have, is we have a flight demonstrator, which you see um, 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 here. So it's an 85 kilogram four rotor flight demonstrator, just to show the, the technology capabilities. So you take off vertically, you can stand in the air like this, um, and you can move around. So what you see more or less here, this is half of the, of the demonstrator that we're currently flying in Austria. And this is the main system, which will be our product in the future. So you see, this is the rotor with several blades rotating around the central axis. In between here, those blades, they are connected with a central um, hub via Conrad system. And when you displace the hub eccentrically from the rotation axis towards one side, then you, you force the wings to do a cyclical pitch during one revolution. And then finally, you accelerate the air through the rotor in this direction or upwards or frontwards or sidewards, wherever you like, with the same rotation direction and the same rotation speed. And that gives you a maneuverability and agility which is really superior to all other systems. In addition, as you see, those vehicles, they don't need wings. You can combine it, but that gives you also the, the flexibility to have really compact vehicle designs. So we did a feasibility study, which you see here um, um, at my right hand side. This would be a two seater. So this is not only designed, but this is really fully simulated, calculated, tested. And we are currently in the stage of building a flying prototype of this. Here you see six rotors, four for the forward flight direction, two for the lateral movement and the agility. The safety is also done on the vehicle level. So if one rotor doesn't work anymore, the five other or four other rotors, they can compensate the loss of one rotor. So here is, you take off vertically, and then for the passenger comfort, you can go into the forward flight direction without the necessity to bank. But one of the main advantages also is the size of the vehicle. What you see here is just 50% larger than your current car. So that fits also in domestic areas. So it's about two, two size of a parking slot of a current one. And that's the compactness that you need if you want to make it available for everybody flying wherever they want, whenever they want. And this is really then the entry for mass market where you can compete with the, the global, let's say, um, automotive market. Um, you need the price in place, but also you need to have, let's say, a competitive um, 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 product with the size needed.